I wish, I'm so glad. So it ain't what Kevin is saying. And see, the problem is so many women are focusing on the messenger, the tone or whatever. You're losing the fact that you're finally getting some accurate information that ain't telling you don't forget your crown, you're a queen and all this other kind of stuff because all those people want to sell your books, sell your dreams. When you talk about leaving hopeless, I think many women who bought this bullshit that these men have been selling and, and then turn around and find out they're cheap just like everybody else and, and ain't the men they say, then they should feel hopeless. At least I'm telling you two plus two is four. Make a decision what you want, two, two or four. A, you could not be a father. And then I would be like, okay, married twice, no kids. That seems odd. Do you suffer from erectile dysfunction? This bitch. Hmm. But I don't know because then again, you could be a father. And then I would say, you left the Black Family Unit in order to pursue a YouTube career? Bitch, shut the fuck up. Get the fuck out of here. Yo, Dre. Now look at what she doing now. She is the one with the YouTube career. See how fake this bitch is? When uh, Kevin Samuels was talking in that Kendra G confrontation, let's revisit that. When you talk about high value men, um, those that are, I have friends and the men that I've dated, a lot of things you are spot on. They're, they're very big on images. Um, they are big on being catered to. I'm a woman who used to desire those type of men. I don't really desire them that much because I don't want to fulfill what they desire. And one of the things you mentioned- Nah, cause they don't want your monkey ass. That's what that is. They don't want your monkey weave. Look, weave won't wear an ass. Chicken, chicken head, bald head, skeleton wag. Ain't got no hair in bag. You know what I'm saying? You know, man, Kendra G is just a bopper, man. And now that the now that the people that she bopped on don't want her, now she want to say that's not what I want. Yeah, that's what you want. They just but that's not that's not who wants you. Get your puss ass out of here. The other night is you got to share that man. A lot of times that man, if he makes 400,000 or more, he may have another woman. And mm -hmm. I know I cannot deal with that. So okay. I think a lot of women sometimes say they want these men, but they've never dated it because if they had, they wouldn't be just focusing on the money. It's a lot of women that have men with money, but they're not always happy either. Well, okay. Thank you. So the follow up question to that would be. <laughs> If you, on, that's the kind of man you and, and, and what man with money won't 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 this bro what who, what man with money won't kid you g hmm? don't worry i'll wait on that answer and see the thing is about it is she sit over here and got on this show and then said all this stuff you know what and then copied this man but let's just continue would like to have you just don't like that aspect of it well i would say this um i'm i'm 41 right so when i listen to the women when i was in the 30s when i had the girls come up here they remind me of myself because i was like he got to have a lot of money um he got to take care of all the bills that's what i was on and i run in those circles but what I and you got a lot of weave i've learned is a lot of those men just couldn't be faithful so then I learned, well, that's my deal breaker. You gonna be faithful to your ass. You can't suck no good dangling bed. You ain't like all that. Faithfulness is my deal breaker. So, so I've been blessed. So my, 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 my the question I have then okay. is, because I hear what you're saying, but then I also like, yeah, uh, that sounds good. Okay. Because uh, you, 41 years old, married, any kids? Nope, I froze my eggs though, so I got a safety net just in case. So, so <laughs> you you're accustomed to a certain standard of life. This is look at the desperation of this. Froze your eggs. She put her eggs in a cooler, and then she thinking she she thinking she winning out here. You lose it, and she knows she lose it. Look at the weed. Man, ladies, don't don't do this to yourselves, man. Don't do this, man. Y'all go ahead, y'all go ahead, get somebody that you're cool with. You know what I'm saying, and put it together. 
you know what I'm saying? And and, and, and y'all get y'all y'all do the best you can, just like everybody else. Talk about freezing her eggs. How many of you ladies out here freezing your eggs? It's true. Uh, and if a man is making the median of what a black man is making, forty two thousand five. He can't afford your standard of life. So is that my problem? Uh, see, that... You heard that? You heard that. Yes, it's your problem. Yes, it's your problem. Because if, a, if, if, if you was making 42.5, it's a man that's making your kind of money that would date you. No, it's, it's the reality of the world. See, what happens far too often, especially in our community, is black women wait too long to get married. You wait till you're too old, you wait till you have too much experience and your your experience and your income has gone up and that is inversely proportional to your sexual marketplace value. So can I speak to that? So let me I, let me finish okay. making the example because because okay. I hear women come on and say, you know what, that high value thing, I really don't want that because I don't want to have to share him. All right, but then are you going to be able to look at a man making forty five thousand dollars a year and respect him to the same level that a high value man would be respected? No. Um, I would respect a man who's hardworking and as long as he doesn't try to minimize me in any way. Now that's that's the biggest thing. If, if he's okay with me being my full self. You didn't answer whether or not you respect him to the same level you respect the high value man. She ain't gonna answer you. Well, let me tell you this. I'm gonna say yes only because I'm gonna tell you this. I've dated high value men. I've dated the men with the Rolls Royces and all the cars and all the glitz and glamour, mm -hmm. and they always thought because they had- And they always tossed your ass up, got on that foot, <laughs> and get out my Rolls Royce, B. That what happened. Poor Kendra. And I had to go put on my lace front and walk home, do the walk of shame. the cars and the glitz and glamour that you got to bow down to them. And I get I get it, but I'm so, talking about the man who's working at the post office. I would say, now, I'm going to tell you my requirements. I want you to be attractive. So if you're a guy that's working at the post office and you're attractive and you... Hold on, let me time out, time out. Why do you want to be attractive? I can't have nothing. I'm uh, no, let me explain. See, this is what's... Yeah, so yeah, yeah. What, what he going to get with you? Because you, I, what I'm looking at right here is nothing. Nothing but another we want chicken head. Chicken, chicken head. Ball head, skelly way. Ain't got no hair in here. Like she act like she's a bad bitch. This ain't no chick. She is, this is not no bad bitch you. Because she's not attractive. And I know some of you thirsty ass niggas will knock that down like, man, she, she tight to me, bro. She tight. She got an ass. She tight. So wrong for so many of our women. You're the supposed to be the attractive one, not us. Okay. Black women today have atavistic mating standards, very primitive, meaning I want you to look good. So he can make $40,000 a year as long as he look good. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. Um, That's what she make just said. That's what she just said. Now, look, like, like Kendra is not ugly. She is very, she's very fuckable. But that's about it. Kendra is something that you grease your pipe on. That's why she freezing her eggs. Ain't nobody, dude, ain't nobody trying to be like, dude, ain't nobody with no bread is trying to do no Kendra G. They, they got her because she's a radio personality and she probably, she'll probably toot it up real quick. And I ain't mad at her, bro. But ain't nobody trying to wipe you up. That says something out of 40 years. It's people. I know people who's uh, getting married at 17. I know eight shit bitches getting married at 17. Man. $3,000 a year. I'm not. That's what most black men make, 42005 Okay, so Kevin, what is. So are you saying in your perspective, that it's over for me. Then I don't no, have. No, it's to not. No, what I'm saying okay. is your price is too high. I'm saying it's over. I'm saying it's over. How is my price too high? Okay. Uh. uh well. Well. First of all, 
you ask me and I'm going to, uh, you're, you're 41 and unmarried. Right, you're freezing by choice, eggs. by choice. Yeah, that's, uh, no. Well, no, I no. can say that. I was hey, once no. engaged when I was in college. Okay, you, you, okay, you, no. I just got I, out See, of this is what I mean, the engagement queens, you can't make this shit up. No, Stop I'm not, listen, wait, Stop, wait. Don't over talk me, no, 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 no. I said, if we could start giving black women credit for engagements, yeah, act like that shit matters. I'm not married, but I'm not by choice. Unless you're turning away proposals of men of value and esteem, it doesn't matter. Y'all talk around y'all are unmarried when ain't no when ain't nobody that you want to marry trying to marry. You. Kevin, can I speak to that? No, because I haven't even got no, to my point. Because I haven't got to my point. I'm being I'm not okay. You to... got okay. You asked me why is it over for me? That's what you asked. But I want just to say one thing, okay? Let, I don't. Let I, me I get to my to... point, dude. Let me. Let me get, okay. I didn't even. This is why it's over for a lot of sisters too. Look, you can be right all you want to. Men control access to marriage. And one of the major reasons that older women are getting passed over for younger women is you're too masculine, you're too bossy, you're too opinionated. That works well in the corporate world when you're making other people successful and rich and fine, but it does not work well when you're trying to con con connect with a man. Why is it over for many women your age? One, because your income has risen and females have evolved. Evolutionary biology says women want men to have at least what they have. The older you get, the more money you make, the more education you have, the more resources you get, thereby inflating your estimation of yourself. But that estimation is not, is not your sexual marketplace value. It is going down. Can I can I respond? I want to be respectful because it's your Go platform. ahead. But, but, but do you understand that example I just gave? The I, I first proportion of relationship. I understand, but I can I can I speak now? Because I was being I'm being respectful. This is your platform, so I definitely want to honor your rules. Um, I just got out of a relationship in January and I could be married right now if that was my goal. But I would rather be happy than just married to say I have a husband. And I don't think that should be looked down upon. I don't think that's, and that's that's my honest truth. You could, you know, feel away, but that's an honest truth. I was in a relationship that he wanted how long me to- you, How long were you, you in it? We were, we were together since last year, eight months. Okay. And he was ready to be married very soon, very early on. And I, I don't want to be married just to be married. And I'm not going to live with fear and say, oh, okay. So do you want to be married? Huh? Do you want to be married? Excuse me? Do you want to be married? I want to be happily married. If I get married, it's going to be because... Do you want of, to be married? Oh, did he want to be married? Yes. He Do wants you to want to be married? I would be married to if it makes sense. I'm not going to be married just to be married. And I'm and I don't I don't feel okay. like that. All right. All right. So okay. again, I've asked you, do you want to be happily married? And you, I want to be, are you going to be married? I want to be happily married. Ma'am, I'm going to be honest. I don't care about your happiness. I don't care about your love. Marriage is a practical choice. And you can make all these things you want, ma'am. And yes, you're 41, but you're going to be 50 just like that. I know, I will be. So queen. the question we becomes, queen. if you want to be married, I mean, let's be real. You're freezing your eggs for a reason. Why? I did. Because I didn't want the shit. pressure to just go out and get pregnant because of my age and my clock. Men have that. Who's going to carry the baby? I mean, I, I mean, if, if I can't carry the, the baby, man. then I'll get a surrogate. I so, mean, it happens so, every so, day. So, so, so again, but in order for all that to happen, you have to have a man that you deem worthy propose to you. Okay, and that's and and, and hold that's on, a hold on, hold on. Okay. okay, that man, if he could meet your high standard, he could meet a lot of other women's standard as well. H and here's the problem: there are hundreds of you, thousands of you. Why should he pick you over the one that can carry her own babies at 24 or 25 or 26? who are willing to get on his program. Y'all sign up for Kendra G show. I still, I like, her show is amazing. And I'm glad for her success, man. She's going to be pretty big, you know. And she's already pretty big. Kendra, Kendra's doing her thing. Who don't have as many expectations as a woman your age. 
Well, if, listen, this is what I will say. If, if he wants to, if he feels the way that you're feeling, then he's not the man for me. And I have no problem with that. Yeah, I, I, mean, he see, see, that I don't see, I don't and see that's, that's almost that passive aggressive but, sign but, language. Can I ask you a question? Do you want me well, to feel, okay. Do you, that, if, I mean, what, that passive aggressive sign language, that whole, if he's not the man for you, that's, that's, I don't play that Tyler Perry Christian crap. That's not it. I don't do that over here. You can do that over there, but I don't do that over here. Okay, Kevin, I'm being respectful. I really am. I'm trying you to You don't have out. to be respectful. So Here's the thing. You, you being respectful is what you're supposed to do. You're not doing me a favor. <laughs> okay. I, I, I wanted to, okay. I wanted to have a conversation. Um, I'm hoping we can have a conversation. So I guess my, am I, am I at the ability to ask you a question? Is that fine? It's about the topic. Sure. Okay. So what do you want me to accept? Because from your, because I, mean, I want I'm you to accept, I want you to accept, I, I want you to accept your not, sexual marketplace value. Okay. So, so what does that equal to? So what is, what are you saying that I need to accept? Okay. Uh, what a sexual marketplace value of a 41 year old woman is lower than a 31 year old woman. Okay. Is lower than a 21 year old woman. Because if a man wants to have multiple children, he cannot have them with you carrying them. Okay. That's true. And I don't want to have multiple children. So but I, I said, if a man okay. wants to have multiple children, I don't care. See, you keep going back to what you want. <laughs> you control access to your body. And for a time frame, women control access to whether or not kids are born. But see, what older women, especially accomplished women, have a hard time accepting is your value has a, sh a shelf life. After 35 year geriatric pregnancy, if you met a man that you found that you thought was the bee's knees and he wanted three children, you can't carry them. Okay, but Kevin, I will say this, right? Can I just say that? Is that I, true? I, or, I, I, I agree with you. I'm not. So, I'm not so he so so he would have so either he would have to forego having the children in his legacy, or he'd have to go find someone who could. Or it could be a man that might already have children and doesn't want to. Not my example. That's not my example. That's not that's but a that's different example. See, can I just say this? I, I, I respect your insight. I really do. That's why I came on your platform. Okay. But I'm not going to allow what you think is going to be for my life to be my life. I don't care if you allow what I, I don't know you, lady. Right. Is that? Well, my name is Kendra. You said my I don't know a lady. Kendra, ma'am. I don't know you. Okay. So, so, and the thing is, I'm not going to allow you to start getting upset. Shut up, I'm not, bitch, I don't I'm know not you. Upset. I'm, never, Look, I'm not upset. You came to my platform and asked, you asked me my opinion. Okay. So to tell me what you're not going to allow with me to do, that's not necessary. I, I wasn't trying to be rude. I was just ultimately. But what would you call it? What would you call it? I'm not going to allow what you say to do what? Because, I mean, listen, I, I, I hear you, but I don't. There's plenty of women that I know that have had babies in their 40s, that have gotten married in their 40s. It, it, it can happen. So Are you talking black women? Yes, I'm talking black yeah, women. Yeah, one in four black women were married. One in four black women were married in their lifetime. So you telling me about the aged he black women who marry in the 40s and have they, babies? They I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Unfortunately, and here's the thing, if you're waiting until your 40s women, to marry like and have babies, you did something wrong in your 20s and 30s. I mean, well, I, I will say this. I focus on my career, which I know you feel could be something wrong. I have no regrets. I have no regrets. And the, the, okay. the I don't feel like there's anything wrong. I, I don't feel like there's anything wrong. Let me go and ahead and turn. Let me tell you, turn you people in the comment section up. I don't, I don't care what y'all think. I mean, honestly, I don't look. I don't judge by what women want. If you want to focus on your career, do that. But see, one thing that women have not been told in this country is there's cost to all of it. You can't have it all. Men can't have it all. They're trade-offs and choices. If you chose to focus on your career, I am all for that, do it. But it comes at a cost of your prime childbearing years. I don't make human beings the way they are. So this, Kevin, is, this, is, this, is, this, is the, this is the choice women have to make. I, listen, I, I wholeheartedly agree. And like, and I was I was engaged in, to my college sweetheart. I went to Hampton and I chose to focus on my career instead of becoming a wife. I have okay. no regrets. Okay. Um, and just as I hear what you're saying with statistics, one of my best friends just got married last year. She's pregnant, do any day now, and she's 41 and she's a black woman. So all I'm saying is, yes, you're right. 
maybe the statistics aren't there, but in my reality, in my world, I know women that- Anecdotal evidence doesn't pregnant. change the fact. Huh? Anecdotal evidence doesn't change the fact. You know people like you, that does not change the reality. Well, well, well okay, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not taking away from that. What I'm, what I'm saying is, ma'am, I'm just saying that- Listen to what we're doing in the black, listen to what we're doing in the black community. Take it away from you. Take it away from your friends. We're actually having a conversation about women having babies in their 40s. That's how warped we've become in the black community because we cannot get it together in our prime mating and marrying years. Because we value, because so many of our women value these so-called careers. Now, I don't doubt that you have a career, but I gotta let you know, how many women I've talked to over the countless years who talk, call their job a career? You got to, most people have a job. Most people have jobs. Most people don't have careers. And it seems to be, why can Becky, Marisol, Myling, and Anu all go out and have jobs and careers just like black women have jobs and careers and still be able to spin that plate and find a husband? Why can every other race of women seem to be able to do that? But black women are doing it at a one out of four ratio. And the next closest women are white women who are married twice as much as you are. Uh, and that's I, married to anybody. You're not can, marrying anybody. Can I respond to that? I, I yeah. hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. But I also think that um, if women are realistic and they are open to dating and maybe not always focusing on the money and maybe to give up some things on their list, it is possible. I know you said yourself, your mother got married at 50. There's people that do still find love in their 40s. And I just think that I don't want women to feel hopeless. And her three sisters died alone. Huh? And her three sisters on the way to dying alone. Well, uh, speaking of dying alone, I had a mother who wasn't married when she died and she didn't die alone. She, she died do you think, we, do you think black women have been given the, do you think black women have been given the accurate message for life? I will say, I I will say no. I will say no. I'll give you that. But I will say this too. I, I, there's a lot of things I do agree with you on, Kevin. And that's why I came on your platform. Um, but I will say the die alone things. I don't want to give women, I don't think women should be fair. My mama told me that too. She said that she wasn't giving the right message. Shout out to you, mom. I know you watching my, you know, shout out to you. But she, she said the same thing. And she's just like, I don't know what the hell we were doing. Um, oh, I do. I think fear. I think I think well, we need some healthy fear. Because okay. here's the thing: we, when we do this whole coddling, don't act like it is what it is. No, we need to tell you, smoking causes cancer. We don't need to tell you, smoking causes bait. We don't. Smoking makes you happy. Okay. Because because I'm looking at our community. Black men are at the bottom. Black women are at the bottom. Black boys are at the bottom. We are the only you're the only group of women who stand out proudly, saying, "I don't need a man to make it through life." No other group or race of women is so bold to stand outside and say, "Put all the pressure of the world on me because I don't need him." What I don't believe that. I believe men are very important. I love the black man. Uh, my because father. It's our culture. Okay, I agree with that. Let me ask you this, Kevin. Do you think a woman, because I hear you talk about settle, and I always wondered your answer to this. Should a woman be with a guy who might be cheating on her, not cheating her the best? Do you think it's better to have a man than to not have a man at all? Yeah, I'm not, see, that's a disingenuous question. So when you come in setting the table as if is the choice between a negative and a man, I reject that question. Why don't you give it the other way around? Do you think a woman should have a man who actually she can build with and partner with such and so forth. Why come in assuming bad faith to begin with? No, I'm not. I'm no. Not. Yes, you did. You came okay, in and gave me a, a negative versus having a man. And that means... Because that's what she been through. She been through a lot of negative men. Kids have been cheated on because she been sitting here chasing these these dudes. She been sitting there chasing these dudes that was ball players, superstars, and they said this and the other, and got mad when she got bent over and kicked out. That's what they do baby, but that's who you wanted. I, if he's going to do this, should she choose that? Why don't you give me the other side? Give me the good faith argument. Well, okay, well, no, there is a good faith argument, but I just heard you say several times, I think sometimes 
Women so what I'm saying is, why didn't you come through the door giving the good faith argument? Why do well, I have to ask you for it? Well, I think, well, I think naturally, if a man is treating you right, if you find a Russell Wilson, what would be the reason for you to leave? You mean the NFL Russell, MVP quarterback? Well, okay. The biggest simp ever? Man, Russell Wilson. Ladies, please do not go Russell Wilson. See, and this is why you're single. Because you're sitting there looking for Russell Wilson, and then you want then you want a simp to, to step up to be something besides a simp. Because you want him to be a simp for you, and then want him to not be a simp for everybody else. Don't work like that. The only we'll thing... The okay, we'll take the money. Or just a man, period, that celebrates you. What I'm asking I, you is, I don't celebrate you. You're, you're, supposed to, you're supposed to celebrate him. But what I'm asking you, Kevin, is this, and I'm not trying to be combative. I'm just simply asking you a question, and I'm I'm really trying not to be combative here. Is there some you women? You should have to try. There's some women who date men who might not be treating them the best, and I always just wonder because I know you you preach a lot about settling and being with men. And well, I, just... I, I talk a lot about settling because that's what a lot of women talk about all the time when they really ain't settling. See, what I'm saying is, I asked you the question. Okay, I'm sorry. One of the two things wrong in our community is one, so many of our women come into, into, into interaction with black men in bad faith. You assume the worst, the negative. Ma'am, go rewind this part. You gave me an example. Do you think a woman should settle for a man that's cheating on her, abusing her, something and so forth, in order to just have a man? That is a disingenuous French toast ass position when you could have easily come in and gave me the positive good faith. Do you think it would be better for a woman to be with a man who she can actually live with and cooperate with and build a life with or have nothing? You could have made that choice to come in the door, good faith or bad faith. You chose to come, no. You chose to come in bad faith because that is the default position in our community. Well, no, Kevin, I, I just, well, let me, okay, let me apologize if it came across that way, because I it's actually- not a, No apologies necessary. That just Kevin, shows I, you where we are in the community. Right, but what, I, what, what I'm saying is there are times though, obviously there's men out there that treat their women good. I know several. I know several men who celebrate their wives and they're good men. So I wasn't asking that question because I think, I thought that's a no brainer. If you're with a man that is treating you good and you can build with, of course you be with him. But there are times when women are dealing with men who are bringing them more sorrow than happiness. And I was just more sorrow than happiness. And I was just wondering if you think being a single woman in that predicament would be better off than being with the man who might be bringing you drama. That's all I was talking about. Them, you need to celebrate them. What are we celebrating? Well, who's on top? Who leads? Well, Kevin, okay. Who's leads. on top? Who leads? Um, I, I, I do say that, yes, the man leads, but I have to just speak for the men that I know that are happily married. They celebrate their wives. They do. All right. Okay. But Kevin, um, listen. You I can sell, okay, man, but who, okay. This notion is toxic to come into this toxic to be like, yes, it is. Because it keeps you, it keeps women with this overinflated stuff that they need to be celebrated to where asking women I yesterday had a woman on Instagram thinking that being a traditional housewife was telling out the slavery just because she had to actually cook a damn meal. I saw that. So uh that's a woman that shares your reflection. How? She's black. Oh so it's my reflection. Okay. That's what yes. Saying. So my notion the, the notion the way so many women talk is though you're some like you're some sort of God or deity that's supposed to be celebrated. The way we do it over here is men of value lead women of women of value follow them you celebrate your man you praise your man what y'all do on your side is good for you hope it works for you but more people on this side are winning more people on that side got opinions and no husbands especially no husbands they value so you talk about russell wilson i don't know many men on this side that respect russell wilson not because he married a woman with a child it's because he's a simp why is he a simp why is he a simp? Uh, because that's an entire program. Yeah, because a bitch like you say he is wondering why he'll sip. If a woman think, if a woman, let me tell you, women, let me tell you, ladies, and this is just coming from your, from your big dog, PA, Texas. If you think, if you wonder why he's a simp, he's a simp. And that's the easiest way I can explain that. Why is he a simp? See, because you want to be able to take advantage of him. 
you, you, you're able to get something out of him. And now you be like, well, why is he a simp? Why is he a simp? Because you're able to take advantage of him. But if the next bitch take advantage of him, is he a simp? Of course he is. But if he's giving you something, then he ain't a simp. Think about that. Here's the thing. How about this? Because the men say he is. Well, okay, as a female, then I want to sit because if there's a man. Well, then go ahead. Then you so 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 you want to have a so again and thank you guys. Listen to what she said. And she, wants she wants to sit. She wants to sit. She wants to sit because a man, a man like Russell Wilson, who puts Sierra on a pedestal, pedestalizing a woman is. I said this three weeks ago. Show me a culture or a race of competitive people where the women were pedestalized above the being and show me a competitive civilization. You don't. Men's purpose needs to be pedestalized, not the female. It doesn't mean that the one, see, this is a problem. So many women in the black community want to be sitting up like this queen. And if a man is sitting up here looking at you, he cannot fight everybody else, compete with everybody else and defend the world. Sorry, it doesn't work that way. And that's why so many women, black women are by themselves because they, if they can't be treated like the queens, that they think they are, then they'd rather have nothing and no one's going to stop you. Because if it ain't, because uh, the problem ain't black men. It ain't black men because ain't no man marrying you. When it says one out of four black women were married, that means anybody. So your career, your job, your accomplishments, whatever is walking around making you feel great and wonderful about yourself, that works well until you're about 55 or 60. Then what? What's about the rest of life? Um. Are you just asking me that direct question? The, the point, the ultimate oh. point is we get nowhere when we have women who still think they should be celebrated ahead of the men. Well, I think they should celebrate each other. And we, well, maybe we have who to- Who should be celebrated? Who should be, who should lead? I don't, I don't mind the man being the head of the household. What do you mean you don't mind? <laughs> that was the wrong answer. <laughs> Like I think if a man Okay, so who should throw the ball on so who should so who should so who should handle the ball uh on on, on the offense side of football? I don't mind the quarterback handling. Who should throw the pass? I don't mind the quarterback, or is that the quarterback's job? Okay, I thought I, I thought I was giving you the I I think we're giving the same answer. No, no we're not. We're I, not because I, I don't mind. See, it doesn't matter if you mind or not, it's what it should be. Okay, so the man leaves the household. I don't feel like the female can't have an opinion on anything. Well, she can. She's, and I, and I, she's I value think, counsel. And I and I do think the man should be celebrated, but I also think, and I've witnessed it, men who hold their wives to high value and uh, will do anything to protect her and, and will say that they will not be the man they are without that particular woman. I had men, high value men that you call high value men, say things like that. So I know what and What did women say about their men? Say again? What do the women say about their men? Oh, they love them. They appreciate them. They think that they're their king. Yeah, because they so can give them something. So it goes both ways. They're, they're celebrating each other. I don't think that's a bad thing. No, no, no. Okay. Because they can give them something. See, the, see, the women usually don't even celebrate the character or nothing. Like that. They were like, man, that, that dude lets me live like a child, and he gives me stuff. And then I love that. But they not like, they not in a, in a relationship where it's like James Evans whooping ass. And then, you know, it's damn, 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 and the life goes down after good times. You know what I'm saying? Listen, I appreciate you bringing me on your show. We're going to agree to disagree on a couple of things. Like well, I said, Friday we and Saturday. Know what, what one way works and one way doesn't. Well, I mean, I will say this. Maybe, what, 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 then maybe I live in some exceptions to the rules because I'm just speaking on the things that yeah, I you do. do. One in four black women were married. You do. And I, I don't know where you, where you, where you, if you, I don't know, if you just look at my show Monday through Friday, th that's the world. Okay, well, Kevin, can I just say this one thing? I feel like you do give good advice, but sometimes when the women come up here, you make them feel hopeless because there's certain things they can't no, do. I don't make you feel anything you're responsible for your own feelings I'm okay gonna, I'll, I'll, I'll I'll give you, I'll, I'll, I will take that back I will retract that but I will say if a woman has I don't have any kids but if a woman has children and if she's a certain age and you feel like there's no man out there for her then what uh, is she uh, so if I if I tell a woman what the the, the statistics are 
And what the men, that, and, and if I tell you what the men are saying, see, what you don't seem to realize is if I had a drone follow me every day, when I go out into Atlanta or around this country, how many men are coming say from, from high school to on Walker saying, thank you. Thank you for telling the truth. Thank you for saying what I can't say. Every day, dozens of men, can I take a picture with you? Thank you for telling the truth. I wish, I'm so glad. So it ain't what Kevin is saying. And see, the problem is so many women are focusing on the messenger, the tone or whatever. You're losing the fact that you're finally getting some accurate information that ain't telling you don't forget your crown, you're a queen and all this other kind of stuff because all those people want to sell your books, sell your dream. And you talk about leaving hopeless. I think many women who bought this bullshit that these men have been selling and, and then turn around and find out they're cheap just like everybody else and, and ain't the men they say, then they should feel hopeless. At least I'm telling you two plus two is four. Make a decision what you want, two, two or four. Okay, well that, okay. First of all, you're absolutely right. I know plenty of men that, that speak your praises. Um, like I even said, there's things that you have said that I have agreed with and things that I know high value is a thing with money. Men with money will tell me certain things that you do tell the people on your platform. So I'm not disagreeing with you there. If there's any disagreement that I would ever have is just the accord of women if they don't, they they can't get married in their forties. Or they said they could get married. I didn't say they couldn't get married. What okay. I say is, what I say is, you have to pick a. First of all, you're not gonna keep. I hate when you ladies do this. You oversimplify what I say, and then expect me to actually hold that. When have I told a woman that she can't get married? Well, I, I know you have this thing called the danger zone, and you what does that mean? Wants you. What does that mean? The danger zone is she's in a certain age bracket. Like if, if, if she has kids, if she's overweight, and if she's a certain age, you have- So you, did, so you just proved, no so uh, Kendra, you've huh? just proven that you don't know what I talk about. That's okay, not what the danger zone I'm means. Educated. So, so, no, so, 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 so this is what I mean. You're a professional woman and you're in, what, you're in media too, right? You run a yes, and you I watch do. my show. I, I define the danger zone countless times and you still were saying something that ain't the danger zone is the years between 27 and 35. okay i okay well this is what i'm saying that's not I, it okay 27 to 35 when a woman needs to really focus like a laser on the outcome she wants if you want to be married with children you need to focus like a laser because after age 30 by 35, you hit what's geriatric pregnancy. That's not Kevin. That's nature. That's biology. See, what so many what happens so often is you ladies get triggered. You think you hear what I say. You're gonna try to make the danger zone be all that stuff, and it was none of that stuff. Okay. You're gonna well, try to say, well, you tell a woman that they're this and that, and I never say I don't say that. Okay. Ma'am, you'll be able to go back. I'm gonna this is gonna be up. You'll be able to hear what you said. And the fact of the matter is, I don't tell women that they can't. I tell them it's unlikely, depending upon their particular situation. And yes, let me reiterate. If you are a woman over 35, overweight and with children, it is highly unlikely that you're going to find a man making six figures plus who wants to marry you. Because those men want something in return too. And they typically don't want somebody else's children. Now, is that meaning them hopeless? No, what it's telling them is you've made your choice to allow yourself to reproduce one, two times with or without the benefit of a husband, most of the times without. You've allowed yourself to become the physical shape you are. That's your responsibility. It is not this man's responsibility to lower his standards, settle, when he's had to work to become this, this thing. No one gave him this. He deserved to get something from this. But see, we're so busy trying to tell women that they should be celebrated that we forget to think about what about your men? We need to start celebrating men, black men, and forget the black men. What about the boys? Fuck the men. What are you doing with the boys? All these women with children, what are you doing with your boys? Black boys reading at a fourth grade level. Black boys are behind. Forget us. You don't have to like us. But what are you doing with your boys sitting next to your daughters? And more often than not, women are telling their daughters, get an education, do this, that, and so forth. And they're, they're making their sons punks, putting them in Jordans and pink shirts and making them son husbands. And they are raising the same men that you ladies complain about. Prioritize it. sooner or later, this old nasty, old bad old patriarchy, you're gonna to have to realize that it's the one thing that's made this world evolve. 
Okay. Can I? I know we. I know you probably have to go to somebody else, but there's just one more thing I want to talk to you about, if if you allow it. I know it's your platform. Um, the dying talk? alone. Because I feel like the dying alone thing. I know my uncle died alone. He was mm -hmm. he was man. My father found him dead a day after he was Your dead. father, your uncle died alone, he was what? I said he was a man. So I'm not sure when you talk about dying alone, it can go both ways. Now, uh, see, see, that's what we start. That's what we started off today, right? That's exactly what we started off talking about. Is that bad for me to say that? Yes, it is. How? Because this is exactly, you can't make this shit up, guys. It's always when it gets tight on women, we got to make it always go both ways. This overgeneralization. See, here's the thing about men dying alone. Men have always died alone. They've been called weirdos, hermits, loners. But men at least have the decency to leave everybody else the fuck alone. They'll sit in their cabin, sit there eating uh, Hungry Man or Swanson or ramen noodles. They'll, they'll even go homeless. What do you think all these men out here are homeless? Show me groups of homeless women. Nowhere in the world where women are by themselves do they not require and demand stuff from the state. It's killing Japan, it's killing China right now. Women who are unmarried, living in communes or groups of one another, but then they're getting older and older and older and the state cannot support aged people. It used to be your nuclear family, your extended family who took care of mama and papa and granny and auntie, but now you got adults who are choosing to be independent, making sixty, seventy thousand dollars a year when they're in their thirties or forties, doing decent, but they're not living high on the hog. But you don't have no retirement. Are you away from one illness or one fall from being broke? So, dying alone, women don't sit around at fifty or sixty years old and not demand government assistance, benefits of some sort. They are demanding something on the system. So, men are still supporting you. And that is going to break a society. We cannot afford it. So like it or not, ladies, uh, when we start seeing homeless elderly women like we see homeless men, then women will start getting the picture. Because like it or not, the coffers are empty. You can't not go just be a, because many women still think, yeah, well, if it get too bad, I'll just go to the church. I'll go to the Jesus house. What about when all that's closed? What about when there's no more resources? Where are those women going to go? The same place homeless men have always gone. Outside. Do you but do, do you believe that marriage benefits men too? Like I know you I know you do I, be, do I believe what benefits men? Do you feel okay and because I know I have to ask my questions very correctly with the words. So I know that you believe women uh marriage is a benefit to women. Do you believe that marriage is a benefit to men? Like uh, should men try to find wives? Like is that important to them? Or well it used to be. It used to be when women valued marriage and valued men, but today, uh, more often than not, women value a man's resources and his ability to provide. That's why I stick in the high value area because I realize that most women don't want a man making forty some odd thousand dollars a year. I asked you that thirty minutes ago. Would you respect a man making forty five thousand, forty two thousand dollars a year? And the answer you had was no. You you I got didn't, it. I didn't, you, I didn't say you, no. You, no, you didn't know what you did not do is answer. No, I remember what you did. You, you did, you did not answer I respect it directly. any man, first of all, that has a job. So I did say yeah. that. That's not uh -huh. true. But no, the answer was ultimately the step, the life, the lifestyle. Would well, you be you willing said, to lower your you, lifestyle? You said, Are you willing to lower your lifestyle? Oh, because, lower my lifestyle. Yeah, because, okay, uh, I'm assuming you make more than $42,000 a year. Yes. Okay, so if he's making $42,000 a year, uh, he's only going to be able to pay whatever percentage of his overall income towards the mortgage, the lights, everything else, and even the car. So if you drive a BMW, what, well, he's supposed to get a bicycle? So I'm supposed to get a lower car then? I'm just asking. Cause that's I mean, what a, that's, that's, let, me, let me explain. That's what a man would have to do. That's what a man, that, so that's what a man, that's, so that's what a man would have, that's what a man would be expected to do. If a man was earning more than his woman, a, the world would expect that man to get him a, a decent car and her a decent car. The world would look at that man crazy. If he was driving a car that his income could afford and she was riding around in a Honda Civic and he was riding around in a Mercedes, 
the world will look at him all kind of craziness. But see now, can I say, can I respond to that, Kevin? That's on the man to have more civility and confidence in himself because if you're worried about the world, ma'am, that, ma'am, that, that, but that, that, that's not. We we can't skip that. Oh no. man, you know what? You ask, now to see how weak this bitch is, she go on her show while Kevin Samuels can't even defend himself and talk and talk shit behind his back. You know, the one thing I forgot to ask you when I was on your platform is, where's your wife? Where is the woman that you are married to that can prove your thought process on what it takes to have a successful black family actually works because you have one yourself? Shut up, bitch! But then I realized you're not even married. Not only are you not married, you have been married twice, divorced twice. Bitch, shut the fuck up! Get the fuck out of here! Yo, Dre! So therefore, you mean to tell me you know all that it takes to have a successful marriage? Bitch, shut the fuck up! but it didn't even work in your own life. Interesting. Another question I failed to ask is, where are your children? Are you a father? Now, I still don't know the answer to this question, so there's two possibilities. Shut up, bitch! A, you could not be a father. And then I would be like, okay, married twice, no kids. That seems odd. Do you suffer from erectile dysfunction? This bitch. Hmm, but I don't know, because then again, you could be a father. And then I would say, you left the black family unit in order to pursue shut up bitch do a youtube career it was more important for you to have a platform tearing down black women instead of being married to the woman who gave birth to your child yes. bitch shut the fuck up get the fuck out of here yo dre now look at what she doing now she is the one with the youtube career see how fake this bitch is and on top of that she using all of his questions and points and catchphrases copying off all this dude's stuff shut your bitch ass up oh copycat ass hoe ain't nothing original on her everything fake about her eyelashes hair and probably that body fake too oh get your ass out of here Kevin shut Samuels, the fuck up you are nothing without the black woman because your popularity is based off of tearing down black women and it further proves the notion that the black woman shut up bitch is the least protected woman person being on the planet earth because the black man even is taking joy and bringing her down now yes there's a thing as constructive criticism and i will give you that Shut up, bitch. On your platform, I even said, there are certain things that you have stated that I agree with. But what I realize is not coming from a place with love. Is I'm it sick of, me I'm to lower my this, lifestyle? Yeah, get this well, bitch off my If he can't afford to go, see, a man making less than you is not you. I'm done. I'm done.